and for Russia, the path of diplomacy uh, and de-escalation, uh, and the path of, uh, of deterrence, including the serious costs, the massive consequences that Russia would incur if it renews its aggression against Ukraine. And uh, we are now in the, the process, the, the starting process, of testing whether this path of diplomacy uh, and de-escalation can, uh, can bear fruit. And that depends very much on uh, whether uh, Russia is truly willing to engage it. We have, coming up next week, conversations with Russia bilaterally between the United States and Russia through something that was established uh, last year, uh, the Strategic Stability Dialogue. This came out of the extension of the, the New START agreement to look at ways that Russia and the United States can continue to pursue uh, arms control. But we're going to have a, a special session of that dialogue uh, to deal with some of the, uh, the issues of, of concern that Russia has raised, as well as issues of concern uh, that the United States has. But at the same time, we are pursuing uh, a conversation with Russia through the NATO-Russia Council, as well as at the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, uh, that uh, the United States, Russia, all of our European partners, Ukraine, and others uh, are, are part of. And this gets at the fundamental point that President Biden has made absolutely clear to President Putin. When it comes to questions of European security, there is going to be nothing about Europe without Europe. Uh, not just full uh, coordination, full consultation, but participation uh, as well. And that is the basis upon uh, which we're proceeding and will continue to proceed. There are some issues that rightfully uh, fit uh, within the strategic stability dialogue between the United States and Russia because they go to arms control uh, between our countries. Uh, but many of the other issues that uh, Russia has raised and that we, uh, the United States and Europe, will raise rightly fit uh, in the, uh, the province of uh, NATO and Russia, uh, or uh, for more, uh, more broadly, uh, the OSCE, the Organization for Security and Cooperation uh, in Europe. I believe that if Russia is serious about pursuing diplomacy and de-escalation, uh, that there are things that, um, that all of us can do uh, relatively quickly to, to build greater confidence uh, and to uh, uh, reduce some of the concerns that we have. There are also uh, issues that could be on the table that would take um, some time. Uh, to work through, particularly, for example, when it comes to arms control. Uh, you don't come up with an arms control agreement um, in a matter of weeks. Um, so the real question is whether Russia is serious about uh, diplomacy, serious about de-escalation. It's important that we begin these conversations. I think if they're going to bear fruit, if they're going to show real progress, that will require uh, de-escalation. It's very hard to make actual progress in any of these areas. Uh, in an atmosphere of, of, of escalation and, uh, and threat uh, with a gun pointed to, to Ukraine's head. So let's see where this goes um, uh, over the, uh, the next weeks. Uh, again, I think we are together, uh, as well as with our allies and partners in Europe, absolutely committed to pursuing uh, diplomacy and de-escalation, just as we are committed to standing up for the principles that are at risk uh, and for Ukraine's sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity.